just to run over the uh, parts again. Cerebrum is made up of six basic lobes. You've got a frontal lobe. Okay? Frontal lobe is going to handle all of your motor commands. So when you want to move to pick up a marker or talk or jump or, or do anything that happens from the frontal lobe, sends those signals down. It's also the seat of your executive function. Executive function, think about that as your personality, your imagination, thinking, decision making, conscious, effortful decision making. Your uh, parietal lobe, right? keep track of that as your somatosensory area. Every time you feel something from your body, uh, viscerosensory, uh, your guts and innards and different glands, that's a different area of the brain. But somatosensory happens in the parietal lobe. Occipital lobe, right? That's your visual cortex. That's where you see things. The temporal, temporal is going to be auditory and language. Auditory and language, mainly. Uh, obviously, I'm oversimplifying that for the sake of a quick video. Um, auditory and language, that's the temporal lobe, just deep to the temporal bone. Then you're going to have your insular lobe. That's going to be your chemical senses. Think taste and smell. And then the limbic lobe, that one that's on the interior, uh, uh, on the inner surface or the medial surface of the brain, just... Um, running parallel to the cingulate gyrus. Think of that as processing memories and uh, it's involved in emotions. So just think memories and emotions. Oversimplifying but without getting into too much like the basal nuclei and the amygdalae and um, other things. We just call that the limbic lobe. Now some a couple other structures I pointed out. Your cerebellum. Think of your cerebellum as uh, coordination. It coordinates uh, not only your physical coordination, uh, able to uh, pat your head and rub your stomach, that sort of thing, but it's going to help coordinate memories with emotions or memories with auditory and visual stimuli or uh, executive function with um, emotions and memories. Your cerebellum, we now know, is involved in, in all sorts of uh, levels of coordination. Brain stem. Remember the three parts of the brain stem are the, the midbrain, the pons and the medulla oblongata. Think of your brainstem as the home of your vital centers, respiratory center, cardiac center, um, um, digestive, uh, digestive enzymes and things that are kind of controlled. Everything in your brainstem is what keeps you alive. It also houses your drives. Think of this as your drive to eat, your drive to sleep, your sex drive, your socializing drive, your drive to move away from danger. And uh, one other kind of structure that we're not really going to get into is the reticular activating system. And this is your arousal center. It's kind of a diffuse network of gray matter, little nuclei or, or individual neurons at uh, some points that just accounts for your attention and awareness and your ability to, to pay attention or be um, uh, have something catch your attention, keeps you awake. That's your reticular activating system. It's only got a run time of about seven to 10 minutes in the average person. That's why I'm trying to keep these videos really fast and really short so you don't uh, you know, fade off, your RAS betrays you. So those are kind of the functions that go with those uh, chunks or uh, areas of the brain at a real basic level. Uh, we'll get some more videos out and dig down into it, but that ought to be enough for uh, to get you started with um, connecting these with the bones of the skull that we did uh, on another video. So uh, stay tuned for more.